first time ever in their home stadium. Jakobsen, it's Korniak who releases. Jakobsen, <laughs> We are at the Waterfront Park right now. We just finished our march to hype up the official San Diego Wave Day on September 17th. San Diego Wave started as, you know, one of two expansion teams this year, and it's great to see that even without, you know, having already performed and already excelled, that, that the city is behind the team and that we're, you know, now, yeah, definitely making a big playoff. Proclaim September 17th. 2022 to be San Diego Wave SC Day in the city of San Diego. There's something special about women's soccer fans and that even if you're cheering for the opposing teams, you're just there to celebrate women in sports. Everybody out there, thank you for having our backs. You guys and our staff, you worked incredibly hard for this moment. September 17th, 32,000 in Snapdragon Stadium. We're looking forward to a big party and a victory. All right, thanks everybody. game's just gonna be fun, you know? We're gonna have 32,000 screaming for the San Diego Wave. And just to have that in our inaugural season is pretty incredible already. So I think it's all just about embracing that, having fun, and then getting the job done because, you know, at the end of the day, we need to still fight for as good of a playoff spot as possible, you know? Obviously, we've, you know, we've dropped a couple games here or there, but we've also grinded out wins when we needed to. We think this team has incredible core values in such a short period of time of, you know, playing and knowing each other and being coached under Casey. So I think that just sets a good foundation moving forward. Playing Angel City, we know that we're gonna get a good matchup. They're also closing in on a playoff spot as well. So knowing that a rivalry is kind of brewing between us, it's it's just gonna be a great matchup. And um, playing against Angel City, you're gonna get a lot of passion and a lot of emotion. And yeah, this match day minus one at Snapdragon prior to the opening match against Angel City. So. A little bit of like a nil session, get used to the pitch, the locker room, see how it all works. As you've seen the season go on, the team's just grown, the morale's grown. To have the two new West Coast teams coming in, um, to have that rivalry straight off the bat, I think that's one, being really good for the league, but two, we know how important this game is. We're obviously disappointed with what happened down in DC, but this is a new week. Um, we know exactly what's at stake. We've got three massive games coming up. The most important one is going to be tomorrow against Angel City, and we all know that we need to get three points. Just to be home here playing in San Diego in front of everyone, I'm biased. I think we've got the best fan base um, in the league, so I'm, I'm just looking forward to it finally in this new beautiful stadium. And yeah, hopefully we'll put on a show. September 17th, Wave is playing Angel City. We're out here to have a good time today, cheer on the wave, get a win. So I'm here with the San Diego Siren Supporters Group. Um, my name is Sarah, I'm the Spirit Coordinator. Obviously it's a big move, just in terms of space, it's huge. In terms of emotionally, I think it's even bigger. It just means a lot to us as Sirens to see the wave treated the way they should be treated as excellent winners who have been, you know, at least top three of the table all season and we can't wait to watch them grow. Stadium experience is gonna be something we haven't experienced before. You know, it's gonna be the biggest ever in NWSL history. Hoping to get that win, hoping to celebrate with a bunch of new friends we make today and just have a good time. talking about this moment all year. We've been wanting it, and now we have it. So it's our time to take it. Take advantage of it, enjoy it, we deserve it, right? So if we just go out there and be ourselves, be us to the best of our abilities, we're gonna come back with the win. Here we go, you guys.
I mean, they had our backs the entire time. The crowd was just, they pushed us over the line. They were like our 12th player out there and it was massive. But uh, Louis, you gotta trust in his research, man. He put so much work in behind the scenes and, and he just boosted my confidence before the game and he knew what to do. You gotta trust your team, man. You gotta trust your team. Casey put together an incredible group of humans, not just soccer players. And I think that's what kind of sets us apart. We, even when we fall, we know how to come back and we know how to get back up. And there's never a time where we stay down. This is incredible. We set a record. Like, how could you not want to be a part of history? And it's just, it's a surreal feeling to have that and to be part of that. And I hope that everybody who is here tonight has that feeling of pride to hold the record. We hope to set it again and again. <laughs> Everybody says for an expansion team, we shouldn't be doing this, but at the end of the day, we came in here and Case set a goal for us and, and we all agreed that, that it was in our reach and we knew we had the ability and it is a push all the way to end. We see how close the league is this year and we love that because it means it's competitive and it's incredible and we have that belief in us that we're capable of that. So we're done hearing that an expansion side shouldn't be at the top. We know we can be and we know we should be and it's up to us to do it now. great matchup and um, playing against Angel City. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just playing against Angel City. It's gonna be it's gonna be a great matchup.